What's up boys and girls, this is Spit Logic, and I just want to kind of talk about music, today's music, and today's way that music is marketed, and you know, just my thoughts on the music industry in general. There was a, a point in my life, I would say it was mid to late 90s, early 2000s, where I felt there was a departure uh, from what I considered organic, good quality music, and then what, what I also considered kind of mainstream industry standard type of music. I would say just growing up as a, a fan of hip hop music, hip hop is, is counterculture. It started off as counterculture. Hip hop music was demonized back then, and there were radio stations that literally, as part of their motto, they would say, you know, R&B and no rap, no hip hop. And since that time, of course, you know, hip hop has become the most popular music worldwide. Part of me loves that. I think it's very interesting when I hear other cultures try to emulate what we do here in America and just their styling. And, and some of it is kind of a adaptation or a replication of what we do in the States. And then there's sometimes where it has its own flair, you know, indicative of their culture of where they are. The introduction of the internet into our society, it has created the opportunity for more independent artists, which kind of grows this underground, this underground hip hop music genre. In a lot of ways I'm conflicted because I don't like mainstream music. I'm not a big fan of it. I think every now and then there's a song or an artist that I can respect, you know. Um, I would say like Kendrick Lamar is the first that comes to mind. But then you have these kind of artists uh, that their entire persona is the promotion of what I would call just negative themes. Specifically, I would say negative themes directed towards black people. Black culture is, is under attack when it comes to mainstream hip hop. When I was listening to hip hop music back in the day, even though there was what you could consider negative music, gangster music or whatever, there was always a balance. For every NWA, there was a public enemy. You know, for every gangster boo, there was a Lauryn Hill. Now you look at the most popular hip hop artist and I, I don't see a lot of deviation between them. It's kind of sad because hip hop is one of the very few genres that easily fuses with other genres of music. I can't name another genre of music that has incorporated all the other genres of music that you can think of. I don't care if it's Irish folklore, I don't care if it's classical music, funk, reggae, hip hop has been able to blend with all those different forms of music. And that creates not only a diversity of sound, but also a diversity in subject matter. There, there's a difference definitely between the internet, the implications of the internet, and then what we have to deal with with social media, which is a part of the internet. I certainly think that um, social media being a corporate ent entity is, it's the industry, it's, um, it's the mainstream, it's the establishment. And unfortunately, we have to work within that framework. We have to work within that establishment, which means that certain artists are going to be perpetuated and other artists are not. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. And it puts a little bit more onus on the individual that, you know, they would have to do their best to do their research and do their homework and do their deep diving and digging into finding an artist that actually caters to them. I think no matter how I feel about the state of music, how I personally feel about the music industry, about the establishment, I can't direct my frustration towards the artist. I can't direct my frustration towards the individuals who are benefiting from what the industry provides them because 
a lot of these individuals are only doing what they can in order to make money, you know, in order to make a life for themselves. But then on the same note, I guess there comes a point where how much money can you make before you kind of break away from that mold? How much money is enough? And then at what length, at what point, for what cost is the benefit of monetary, the monetary benefit, as it impacts your soul, as it impacts your person and your being? I don't know. I, I think about these things a lot. It's part of the reason why I don't post music online anymore. But I don't know. I think I, think I might start doing it again. Because all the music that I love and I listen to, I found it online. I didn't find it by listening to the radio. So maybe somebody would listen to the music that I make. Maybe it'll help them out and inspire them. Anyway, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, what kind of music do you listen to? How do you consume your music? And then is there any kind of music that you try to stray away from? Any sort of type of music that you try to stray away from? Again, I thank you for the view. I thank you for the listen. And until next time, peace.